So we will go. Fight number one in the pin submission series. Fighting out of the blue corner in La Escuela Azul, Ricky Simone. So Ricky Simone, the first to make his way to the pit, 31 years old, currently the number 15 ranked bantamweight in the UFC. The last man to defeat the next title challenger in that division, Merab uh, Devashvili, back in 2018, even submitted him. So this guy has got some serious grappling chops when he gets stuck in on the map. Very, the very fun talking to this guy, in super La relaxed. Escuela Roja, Joao Miao! Yeah, hailing from uh, Sao Paulo in Brazil, five-time world champion Joao Miao is uh, one of the best in the world when it comes to straight jiu-jitsu competition. Hasn't uh, competed a whole lot in too many super fights recently, but it's great to have him here. And it's a really good style versus style matchup for this one. I know both of these competitors are looking for something special here in the pit. Joao often credited with popularizing the uh, Barambolo technique, which once again... <laughs> Yo, no, but hey, hey, I'm with you because when they told me that, I've been out of the game for almost 20 years since 2006 of that. And when they said it, I go, I'm sorry, you're going to have to tell me so serious. Yeah, I'm going to be honest here because I've been going, and guys. from what I understand, it only came out right. like five years ago, right? Uh, yeah, around then, a little bit older, yeah, maybe. So you so know yes. what it is, Josh? I certainly do. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a phenomenal guy. He's a black belt. Black, black belt jiu-jitsu, I should know. Unreal. Here well, we go. It's new, you know? So we get started here, and it's Meow with uh, a ball to open guard here. Probably a smart thing for him, given the wrestling pedigree uh, of Ricky Simone. Simone looking to pass from the knees around the outside here, but let me tell you, the flexibility, the dexterity of someone like Joao Miao, and you can see how he can invert and fold himself in half. It makes it incredibly hard to get to any kind of controlling position on a body like this. Yeah, and he was talking about the wrestling skills of his opponent. He said they're really good. That's the one thing I have to really watch out for. Yeah, and one thing you are going to see from Miao, particular on the back here, is he's not going to be passive. He's going to be looking to constantly attack. And one of his attacks is to invert and go underneath your opponent to get to the legs, to open up some entries to the back. Uh, it may look curious if you haven't seen that sort of thing before, but it's a very effective way to get underneath your opponent, off-balance them, really move them about effectively. Yeah, and for the karate fans, when they tune in right now and they say, hey, what is this going to do? That guy on the bottom right now, on his butt, will submit you probably within 15 seconds. That's what he's doing. That's how good this guy is. Yeah, he's looking for that two-on-one grip. He's trying to, again, invert over the top. And this is going to be the, the Achilles heel, perhaps, for him here. He's going to be fighting for those dominant grips, That's looking tough. for a double under stack passes, Simone. And you see how Joao Miao makes his legs so wide and long, they become huge, heavy levers, yep. and you really can't get up and underneath them. And he's pulled Simone into the closed guard here. He's got to use the wall, very smart. Yeah, going K-guard entry here, though, looking to invert over oh. the top onto a leg. And, and leg you can looks, see he's really good with leg looks. Yeah, Bass, this oh, is your favorite area. Yep. Trying to get control. He's if he pulls the knee now to the right with his right hand, he can go for an inverted heel look. Yeah, so he's got double outside Ashy, but you see Simone has escaped the he knee knows. line. That means he's pulled the... The crux of the joint of the yeah, leg. Very, leg nice. very nice defense here by Simone. Yeah, and he's trying to re-enter here. And he's oh, he's going to climb up to the back here. He's going to crab right up to the back. Well, maybe not. Nice hand. Got feet control. Actually, yeah. in this what case. he's trying to do here very is get nice. back to inside right, saddle, and he gets it. Got it. He got it. Inside heel hook submission wow, to draw me out. That is how done, fast okay. you can attack all the ligaments Good. in the knee and end your opponent's night. And for the people at home, I did this by accident because I just came up with the move or saw the move. I broke somebody's shin bone in half. So it's a very destructive move. Joao Miao gets it done Sorry. like that. AJ celebrating yeah. in the corner. I mean, look, there. I hope we can get you a replay. I can talk you through it in a little bit more detail for how he, he hit that entry into that inside saddle position. Winning out of the right corner, Joao. That Baron Bolo technique. Uh, <laughs> Got to watch out for that. Right. Let's take, let's take a quick look at how that submission came about here. Drown me out. You see, he's fighting on the outside here and throwing that right leg, that outside leg over the top. He gets in complete the dominant control he's on that knee, and as he grabs that heel, you can see he's going to thrust his hips forward. And what he's doing is applying so much lateral pressure and torque into the side of the knee. All of the ligaments just get stretched and extended. And Ricky Simone wanting to preserve his career. He knows how dangerous that is. He's forced to tap very quickly indeed. Yeah, Nobody the, the, wants the a biggest move leg. there was pulling the knee to the side because that presents the heel. The heel will come upwards. Otherwise, you could have never got that. So that was a super smart move there. Fantastic. Yeah. He's known for that. <laughs> he is. Fantastic <laughs> submission for Joao Miao. Boss Rutten here. Thanks for watching Karate Combat. Don't forget to subscribe.
Ossu, 